The next one is our chance to be truly healed. To be truly healed. Heal me, O Lord, Jeremiah 17, verse 14. And I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. Amen. I always remember the story of a man who was saved from an earthquake, I believe, in San Francisco. And um, he was interviewed after his earthquake experience. He had survived three days and nights under the earthquake, under the rubble, under the buildings. And he was interviewed. He was interviewed by the uh, CNN or by um, some news agency. And they asked him why he had survived, how he was able to stay underground under all these tons of bricks and for all this time. And he said, I am a man of very strong willpower. And when I determine to do something, nothing can stop me. I am able to stay on course. I don't swerve to the left or to the right. I am a man of strong determination and willpower. And they asked his wife as well. And his wife said, well, I know my husband. I've been married to him for many years. He's a man of very strong willpower. When he determines to do something, nothing can switch him to the left or the right. He's a fair man. He's a very determined person. He carries through his projects. He's a choleric personality. He moves forward. He's the type who does not waver to the left or the right. I know my man. I've been married to him for 27 years. And so they went to see the doctor. And they said, doctor, what do you have to say about your patient who has survived this amazing experience? And the doctor said, well, I know my patient. He's a man of very strong willpower. He has survived and I, he's the type of patient because the willpower, the determination to survive is very important in a patient's life. When a patient decides to die, he dies. When he decides to live, he lives. <laughs> willpower. But seven days later, this man with a strong willpower was struck with a heart attack. And he died instantly. Where was his willpower? Where was his determination? Where was his choleric personality? It is true. The tractors and the bulldozers had been able to save him. And the doctors had been able to put him in the hospital and put him on a drip. But he was not truly saved because it was just a few days more before everyone would see that he had not truly been saved and he had not truly been healed. And that's why we must turn our eyes to the Lord and say, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and then I shall be saved. Because when the Lord stretches out his hand to you, my sister, that is when you'll be truly saved. When the Lord stretches out his hand to you to heal you, that is when you'll be truly healed. But when you stretch out your own hand to heal yourself of your loneliness, because that is one of the tormenting difficulties of mankind, loneliness, loneliness. Amen. Amen. Depression. Sadness. Bereavement. Sorrow. Futility. Uselessness of life. One of the healing balms of the Lord can heal you truly of whatever that thing is. Can I have an amen? Amen. It is our chance for the glory of God. How many want to see the glory of the Lord? The glory of the Lord. Amen. We want to see the beauty and the power of the Lord. This is our chance. This is our chance. This is our chance on this earth. Pastor Tiaku, it's our chance. Yeah. Thank God for preaching and for teaching. But the healing anointing is our chance for the glory. It's our opportunity To see the glory of God. And Jesus said, did I not tell you that if thou shalt believe, 
you shall see the glory of God. That's our chance. And we have to believe in the healing. We have to encourage the healing anointing. We have to say, yes, Lord. Thank God for slayings and for the spirit manifestation. All these other things, they are all part of the power of God. But I'm talking about healing. And the healing anointing is a chance for the glory of God. It's our chance to go deeper. How many want to go deeper? Draw me deeper, Lord, deeper into your word of truth. Draw me deeper, Lord, deeper into your love for me. Draw me deeper, Lord, deeper to the place where you are. Draw me deeper and deeper that I may know your love. Draw me deeper, draw me deeper. Draw me deeper, Lord, deeper into your word of truth draw me deeper lord deeper into your love for me draw me deeper lord deeper to the place where you are draw me deeper and deeper that i may Draw me from fear. Draw me from fear into your faithfulness. Lead me along your way. Draw me from sin into your holiness, Lord. Draw me from sin into your holiness. That I may be a living praise. That I may be a living praise. Draw me from fear into faithfulness. Draw me from fear into faithfulness. Lead me along your way, Lord. Lead me along your way. Draw me from sin into holiness, please. Draw me from sin into your holiness That I may be a living prayer Draw me deeper Draw me deeper Lord, deeper Into your word of truth Draw me, draw me deeper Lord, deeper into your love for me draw me lord draw me deeper lord deeper to the place where you are draw me deeper and deeper that i may know your heart hallelujah the healing anointing is our opportunity to go deeper I said it's our opportunity to go deeper with God and in God. Many of us don't know that there is a deeper path. And the Bible says deep calls unto deep. Deep calls unto deep. In other words, if you are not deep, you cannot reach for the deep things that are in God. Everybody has his deep things. And if If your deep is not calling or your deep is not speaking, my deep will not respond. If I meet you and it is just hi, hello, hi, bye, hi, hello, hi, bye, the deep part of me will not come forth to you. Because it is your shallow part that is coming forth to me. But when maybe you meet with somebody else, The deeper things in you come forth. And you relate with somebody, you relate with your friend, you relate with people, and you tell them your heart, you talk to them, you chat with them, you speak to them, you tell them what is going on in your heart. And so as you speak and you tell them all those deep things, that 
person who is listening to you, also the deep part of him responds. And that's why the Bible says deep calls to deep. So as far as God is concerned, people who are just relating with him on a shallow level are not going to experience those deep things. Because when you talk to God with his shallow and you say, hi there, bye there, are you okay? Hi there, bye, hi there, bye, hello, bye. God will also wave from heaven, hi, bye, hi, bye, hi, bye, hi, bye, hi, bye, hi, bye. That's all. But God longs for the deeper part of you to begin to call to him to the deeper part of God because there is more to God than we know there is more to God than we see oh God there is more there must be more there is more there is more there is more to God there is more to the ministry than what we are doing here there is more to the ministry than what we are doing here I said there is more to the ministry than what we are doing here there is more to there must be more There is more than just preaching the word. There is more than just teaching. There is more. And God is in the business of bringing that more into your life and into my life. He's bringing it into our lives. And that is why Some time ago, when I was in the presence of the Lord, in a deep moment, the Lord told me that he has given me a healing anointing. And that he had told me that he was going to use me in a healing ministry. And that he had anointed me to heal the sick. And that is why I am praying for the sick and I'm preaching about the healing anointing and that is why we have seen so many miracles so many different kinds of miracles attested to by medical science we have experienced God's power and are going deeper because it's it's a river you see the anointing is a river people don't know that the anointing is a river you have to allow the river to start flowing until it begins to flow, you will never see the things that are far, that are on their way coming. If it never starts to flow, and many people don't want the trickles to begin to flow. They don't even want to allow. They don't even allow it. And that's why God is saying, open the doors and allow the river to start flowing. As you allow it to flow, more and more and more and more and more. That's why we have just seen a part of the great healing anointing. But that healing anointing is the deeper part of God. 